Hello everyone, this is Aman Juman and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon EC2 Connect. So Amazon EC2 Connect is a relatively new service. It's just released on um, middle of 2019, I guess. So most of the people not aware about that, uh, what is Amazon EC2 Connect. Uh, whenever you search in YouTube that uh, what is AWS EC2 Connect, you will be end up with uh, some tutorials that setting up uh, SSH from using Putty or any other Linux client. So this is not what uh, AWS EC2 Connect. The, the AWS EC2 Connect is a really new service that uh, allow user to connect uh, their instance from AWS console directly. It's, it's more like uh, when we when we if you guys familiar with Google Cloud, you can see that you can access your instance from Google Cloud console. Eventually, same just like same as DigitalOcean as well. So let's get started with Amazon EC2 Connect. So this is the. Uh, uh, news that AWS EC2 Connect uh, um, just released on AWS and it's now available everywhere, I guess. So, yeah, you can see there is no cost if you use Amazon EC2 Connect. So, I think sometimes uh, we lost our EC2 key pair. So, this way, AWS EC2 Connect would be a good idea to set up uh, an alternative system so that we can recover our. Um, PAM file or uh, we can access our um, server or access our Linux server. So let's get started. So there's a couple of guides from AWS and I'll I'll follow these guides in this entire video tutorial. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to um, we have to launch an EC2 instance. So here I'm in Bahrain region. So here uh, are we gonna deploy an Ubuntu server? You can deploy Linux as well. So this is for uh, for Linux. This um, this EC2 instance connects for only Linux server, not others. So here in Ubuntu, I'm gonna select Ubuntu, but uh, recommend to use Linux AMI because the guide is for Linux AMI. But I'm gonna show both of them. So here in Ubuntu, I'm gonna select this one and just select a basic configuration so that's it I guess storage 10 gigs security group let's uh, let's set it open because I'm gonna terminate it after completing the video tutorial so launch launch instance okay well, our instance is done so let's give it a name a So once our instance is launched, we're gonna uh, access it through Putty. So I'm um, opened my Putty and entered the server. So it's asking for the key alert. So yes. So we are in our server. So let's go ahead to do SU. Let's clean the screen. I think I should ex uh, change the fonts. I just uh, changed the font size, so it's way better now. So first thing is first, uh, we're gonna set up EC2 Connect uh, uh, client first. So there's a guide in here, as you can see this one. EC2 guide, here is it. Uh, so there is two uh, for Amazon Linux version two and Ubuntu. So I'm not gonna follow all of them because uh, I'm gonna just make this thing much better like uh, with some additional configuration. So first of all, it says uh, we have to install, okay, we have to update our instance. So we have get update. Then we have to set up EC2 instance connect. So let's copy this one. So whenever you launched a new instance, you have to do this stuff for one time otherwise you cannot uh, access uh, this uh, you cannot use this service so i cleaned up my screen so here we're gonna check if this file 
available if we, if we, if we properly uh, installed our application so ls so we can see four files is there so it's properly installed so we can verify the service if the service is there so we can just copy paste this one you see i can we can see there uh, the file is there so let's create so then uh, then we're gonna set up uh, the policy in uh, IAM console and uh, we are done in here so we can clear and exit so now we're gonna set up uh, our IAM user so for IAM user there is a JSON file so we're gonna follow this JSON file so here IEM so we're gonna create a new policy So click policy create new policy JSON then you can just uh, copy paste enter code so what what is the explanation in here so you as you guys can see uh, here the resource uh, you have to change the region name so for my instance we have to change it uh, me south one which is middle east south one and your account id you can get your account id from my account and you can specify the instance id so i'll replace the account id and uh, I'll, I'm also gonna change uh, update my instance ID here so if you like to allow a specific user to access a specific instance that case you have to mention the insta instance ID so I'm gonna copy the ID and you have to just replace it so um, for my case uh, if you if you like to use another region you can just uh, use you can replace this value with your necessary uh, resources but uh, i'm not gonna uh, use any more region so i'm gonna just remove this line also gonna remove this comma so here you have to change the ami username so for this case we have username ubuntu and uh, if you use uh, Amazon AMI version 2, that case your username will be ec2-user. So if you use CentOS, it would be just username CentOS. And if you use Bitnami, accordingly you have to follow the name. So uh, I'm not gonna use this uh, in uh, this JSON. I have my uh, my own JSON, and this is allowing which instance to execute. So I'm going to use my own JSON. I'm going to put this uh, my JSON in GitHub so you guys can check these uh, things from link uh, from description. Sorry. So I'm going to replace my uh, my JSON. So here you guys can see uh, I'm if allowing all the resources of my entire EC2 resources of my account. So it's basically I have created a IAM user my name and I'm gonna allow I'm gonna allow this policy to myself so that I can uh, use any of the instance of my account for this is uh, the wild card and I created two user in here so two sorry two user uh, two username because I mostly use Ubuntu as well EC2 user for Amazon AMI so sometimes I use um, send to us so i'm gonna just add another comma and put another line so let's just copy this and put this as a send os or you guys can use bitnami as well so let's go ahead and enter create sorry it's not supposed to be so bitnami so that's it and uh, yes so i'm allowing all easy to instance is described so review policy you guys can see here what kind of resource i'm using so i'm giving all resource permission and full ec2 instances access so i'm gonna give it a name what is gonna name i'm gonna give it 
Mm, okay, Amazon EC2 connect. So, and description. So you have to put dash or underscore, no space. So that's it, create policy. So once you create the policy, so once you create the policy, you have to select the policy and policy action attach. So I have a I am user created in my hair. As you guys can see so I'm gonna check my I am user that I like to use this policy so this is myself so I'm select my name and attach policy done so it's gonna take a couple of seconds and we are done so we are done here so we're gonna go to the EC2 console and refresh this page again and uh, And here uh, we will see that this is our instance select this instance and if you press connect you can see uh, two option in here so a standalone SSH client uh, that you can access from uh, your terminal git or uh, putty whatever you say so I'm using this one as session manager so I'm gonna click it okay i think uh, this region is not available here so let's go ahead and uh, try this in another region so we are in singapore region so we are in new instance so we're gonna set up the ec2 connect first oh ec2 connect okay first update so make sure you guys selecting the proper region because here you can see um, Bahrain is not there so I have to change my region to Singapore okay so here we are we have done our update so we're gonna install EC2 instance connect that's it so exit and now we can give it a try connect you as you can see ec2 connect ec2 instance connect from browser based ssh connection so click on it and then you can select your username so if i as i already gave gave my username on the json file so we can just uh, continue with this one so connect So it's just like uh, just like a web-based uh, a web-based SSH terminal. So we can execute everything from here. Just like uh, what we do it with our putty. So that's it for our video tutorial. So if you guys have any question, please. Uh, type your comment in comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you